Last time we went over what the different ability scores were and what you needed them for. Now we're going to roll for the numbers and I'll show you how to apply them on your character sheet. Rolling your stats is the most common way to get the scores, so I'll show you how to do that. You'll need a six-sided die for this. We're going to roll the die four times and then throw out the lowest number. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, it looks like one is the lowest number, so we're going to keep these numbers here. And you'll want to add these numbers together. So that's a 16. Now we're going to do this seven times. the numbers I'm going to apply them. For this example I'm going to be a rogue. For a rogue the most important things would be dexterity and intelligence. So I'm giving the highest numbers to those. 16 and a 15. The rest of the numbers are just how you want to play the character. I think for this character I'm going to give up some strength and the wisdom and give my higher numbers to my constitution, which is the health, and the charisma, so I can talk myself out of trouble, I hope. So these would be the numbers that I start out with. Now that we have the scores, we can do the modifiers. That's the bonus you add to your skill checks when you attempt to do an action, like picking a pocket. 10 is your baseline for your scores. If you have a 10 in a skill, you have no bonus, and you just write a zero. Even numbers above 10 get you a bonus, 12 is plus 1, 14 is plus 2, 2, 16 is plus 3. For the odd numbers, you have to round down. So 13 is just a plus 1, and a 15 is a plus 2. If you have a number below 10, you actually subtract. So a 9 would actually be a minus 1. So let's say I try to pick someone's pocket. The DM asks me for a dexterity check. So I roll my d20. Oh, that's not good. And I add my dexterity modifier, plus three. So that's a 12. Well, hopefully it works. 